Hi Vogue and welcome to my beauty secrets video. This is so surreal because I would be on Vogue sharing my beauty secrets, you know? <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're on a true channel, welcome to my channel. I'm Steli and in today's video, I will be pretending to be in a Vogue beauty secrets video. So today we're going for a very natural looking everyday look. Anyways, I'm not gonna do my eyebrows because I've learned that when I don't do my eyebrows, it looks less makeup y. You get what I mean? Like it looks more natural. So I'm just gonna use my got to be gel. I use this thing from Scarlet Hill to just like, it's a spoolie and a brow thingy. So I'm just gonna push them upwards like that. As you can see, I haven't tweezed my brows or anything. But they're not that bad. I never really shave trees them that often. Because I'm trying to grow them, but they don't want to grow. Like, Okay, so now that my brows are out of the way, I go ahead and use this Maybelline Baby Skin Primer. This is very, very good. And I just love using it. Also, last week, I was on... Paris Fashion Week and it was so so real like these days I'm living in awe literally because like who would have thought I would be in Paris flown out by a brand all expenses paid for this like I'm living my influencer dreams right now like literally it was such an honor to be on the Paris Fashion Week with House of CB. Their dresses are so cute. I just love House of CB. Like, okay, apart from the faking and pretending to be a successful influencer, guys, I literally love House of CB. If there's one brand that I want to work with the most that's on my bucket list of brands to work with, House of CB is at the top. Like, have you seen? Guys, next I go in with my Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in the shade 342. I use this Scarlet Hill brush. Anyways, like I was saying, like House of CB is the brand. House of CB dresses, their sets, and since we're doing a natural look, I am not going to be applying any makeup on my forehead because I feel like also that makes it look makeup-y and that is the last thing we want right now house of cb is the one brand i can't wait to be working with and just be invited to their events they're always so cute literally i saw this other i've been seeing reels actually on instagram of my favorite influencers and they're attending this you can tell that is like an influencer event that House of CB was hosting, it was so cute, like it was on the garden and oh my god, I love that brand, like with everything in me, I don't know. I can't wait to look back on this video and be like, wow, we're actually working together, like literally this, this is my form of manifestation, like I am going to look back on this video and be like, wow, we actually did it, like we did it. Next, I go in with my Maybelline Superstay Concealer in the shade 30. You can't really see that. But I just like place it here. The applicator on this is so precise, which is something that I love about this concealer. And then I take my brush again and just blend that in as well. And just blend it in like that. And on places where I feel like it's too harsh, you see, like when you can tell where the concealer ends, I just go in with my beauty blender and just make it look seamless. Same thing with my eye area. Just do that. I use this brush for my contouring and this black opal powder in the shade coffee cutie and i just use it for strictly just contouring because 
I don't really like cream contours like that. That's one thing I've realized. And I feel like powder contour is so much better and more precise. I make sure to not go heavy hand, like I make sure to not be heavy handed when I'm applying this because it is very dark and you will look crazy. So just, you know, just a little, even when you're tapping the brush, just don't do too much, you know? Don't do too much. Just okay. And I just wipe it before I blend everything out, cause because there's still some powder left on the brush that can make what I've like put on my face too dark. As you can see, you saw how little I was touching my face, but you can see it's very dark. So you have to be very very careful with that just blend it and then I go in with my concealer again just to I can never get a straight line like it always looks Ready. Anyways, I do this, just press it in like that, pull it down, press it again, pull it upwards like this, so it's, a, it's less harsh, and just continue blending until it looks like this. And I do the same thing on my nose, on my, what am I saying? On the lower part of my of my nose, and then I go in with my blush. I like using lipstick as blush because if everything is matte on the face, it just brings back that glow. You know, like I don't know if you get what I mean. I also put a little on my. And when that is done, I go in with my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Water Setting Spray. I go in with the setting spray twice. That's another secret into keeping your makeup the whole day. I let that dry. I sort of like try to blend it with my... Makeup like that. Let that dry. And I go in with this LA Girl um, setting powder in the shade Banana. Because this is everyday makeup, I don't. I don't really put. It everywhere on my face. I usually put it on my T-zone. That means under my eyes, under my nose, and on my chin, on my forehead. But because this is everyday makeup, I'm only gonna put it under my eyes. Like this. And also try to bring it closer to my nose to sort of like define the contour you know because the concealer only ended here before the nose but on this part i'm putting it close to my nose you see where my nose has a pleat kind of thing i'm putting it i'm aligning it with that pleat so that you know i can like define the contour go in with my setting powder setting spray Again, and just set the face now. You really need to put a lot of like setting spray so it stays, like it has to stay. Oh, look at my cute set. It's like butterfly earrings and a butterfly necklace. I just love this set. Anyways, I let it dry on its own. I don't touch it this time, blend it whatsoever. I let it dry on its own. 
just I've already like put setting powder while it's drying you see what it's doing it's starting to crease because it's wet what you're gonna do is take your setting powder again and directly under your eye be precise and close and just like that crease gone and for my beloved lip combo that i've gotten so many questions about and i literally i'm so confused because i've literally posted this lip combo on my tiktok before but anyways i use this la lab lip liner in the shade burgundy and this lip gloss from scarlet hill i love this lip gloss i love 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 this lip gloss like literally if you follow me on my social medias you know how much i like talking about this anyways i'm gonna line my lips and come back this is what it looks like lined after that i just put on the lip gloss the lip gloss is what makes the lip combo the lip combo so it's really important to be using this lip gloss or at least something that resonates looks like this lip gloss Ugh, and it, it smells so good Don't be shy, put some more. Don't be shy, put some more. This is what it looks like. And then, last but not least, I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline Sky High Mascara and just do the things and I'm gonna be back. And voila. That is my makeup routine for my everyday look. told you it's all in the eyebrows this look looks more natural because of the eyebrows as compared to if my eyebrows were like drawn and carved that's just my opinion and i just i love it thank you so much for watching my video don't forget to like subscribe and turn on your post notifications to get notified every single time i post a video because i post every sunday so stay tuned and